Hey everyone, welcome to World Heritage Journey. Today, we're at Himeji Castle in Japan. The gorgeous Himeji Castle is one of the most famous and impressive castles anywhere in the world referred to by the Japanese as White Egret Castle for its apparent resemblance to a white egret taking flight, the castle sits on a hill overlooking the city of Himeji. Founded in 1333 as a small fort, it was later dismantled and built into the great fortress we see today in the early 17th century between 1601 and 1609 and it's survived the last 400 years essentially intact and unchanged. Despite being mostly built of wood and plaster, it survived two direct bomb hits during World War II, one of which was a firebomb that, incredibly, failed to ignite. The castle stood tall and strong, though the surrounding area burned to the ground. Even an enormous earthquake in 1995 didn't damage the structure. An open bottle of sake on the altar on the top floor didn't even spill. There's just so much beautiful detail here to explore as well. Everything is constructed around feudal defense systems, starting with the thick wooden gates and fortified walls. The castle's windows are all heavily latticed with only small openings, allowing defenders to throw rocks, shoot arrows, and fire guns without much risk to themselves. There's also tiny portholes all over the castle walls for the same purpose. The building's corners have well-concealed slit openings where defenders can dump vats of boiling oil on raiding armies, and inside there's little trap doors so warriors could hide inside and ambush enemy troops. Even the grounds themselves are designed for defense. Entering via the main gate, the keep entrance is only about 100 meters away, but you have to walk nearly 400 meters to actually reach it, since you're going back and forth in a confusing zigzag the whole time. And during conflict, you would have been under heavy fire from the defenders. But interestingly, it was never actually tested in ground combat. I loved the architecture here too. The roof tiles are often decorated with family crests, signifying the important lords who owned the castle during its long history. And of course, it's perfect shape from the outside. It's the largest castle in Japan, and it's certainly the most elegant too. And possibly my favorite anecdote about the castle, maybe even the most important one of all. In 1868, as the Shogun government was failing, castles across Japan were sold off for demolition, and Himeji was no different. It was sold to a local man for 23.5 yen. That's about a thousand US dollars in today's money. But when he realized the exorbitant cost involved in demolishing the castle, the new owner just let it sit there untouched before the government eventually bought it back for military use, saving it from destruction. Definitely a happy ending. <music> 